Hello everybody, we're on to our uh, shed project again and today we're going to do some doors and windows and uh, maybe a little uh, garage door type opening here on our shed because we've got to get in somehow. So we're going to go to our ground floor view, get started there. And here's our basic shed, nothing crazy, 12 by 16. And we're going to go to door. And this door wasn't normally here. So where I found that door is you go to load family and in this US Imperial. So let's take a look at the drop down here. So we have uh, Revit 2018 libraries, US Imperial. Uh, sometimes you have access to this. If not, I have it in my handouts folder and you can get to it. So we go there, US Imperial, and we go to doors. And once we're in here, there's a number of different doors and we go to residential doors. And when we hear, we see that we have exterior flat glass and all those. Now, if we go back up, let's take a look at the commercial doors and see what's there. We have pass, uh, single passage doors. These are mostly interior. We have an exterior door right here, but they're not really fitting what we want for our shed. So let's go back to the residential. And I'm gonna just do these, this is the exterior door. And you can do the flat glass, if you look on the top there, or rounded. All right, so once it's there, open that. And now you get to pick the sizes. Now the size that I want is a, gonna be a 36 inch wide door at seven feet tall. Remember our walls are eight feet tall. So an eight foot door there would not work. So we click on that and I already have it in. So I'm just gonna hit cancel there. So that's my door, 36 inches by 84 tall. I'm gonna place my door right here. Now in doing so, we have a couple arrows. We see the double arrows here that is either right or left. And then if you click the up and down ones, it's to open in or out. So I'm gonna have this door open in to the left, and I'm gonna change it to be two feet away from the wall, hit enter, and we got that. So that two feet is from the door, uh, from the center line of the actual wall to the center of door, so that's two feet. And if you didn't like it, you thought that was too close, you can move it in or out however you want. So now that that door is in, I'm gonna hit escape and go to the 3D view. So now there's the door. Uh, the problem, I don't know if I really like its location. I'm actually gonna move it over a little bit. So I click, you can see up here I have it. I'm gonna go two, space six, move it over a little bit. There we go, just a little room. The issue I have here is that it's this wood door and I want it to look white because I'm gonna have white trim here. I'm gonna make it look pretty good. So I'm gonna click on my door. We're gonna to go to edit type. And we see here panel materials cherry. So we can keep it that material. But the problem is, is the appearance. So I'm gonna go use render appearance, go to appearance. We're going to replace this. So replace this asset, click here. And I just want white. So let's see, paint. If I go here, and I have ivory flat, ivory gloss, all right, so I can pick any one of those. Uh, let's go here, I'm gonna just go to wall paint. We have glossy matte, we have wood, we have panels. And let's see what else, we have wall paint here, glossy, matte. I'm gonna go to a matte, and they have an ivory flat. Let's take a look over here, this matte. So now I'm in the appearance library. I went to matte and let's take a look at the whites that they have. We have just regular white. I'm gonna pick that, click that. So now it's just gonna be white. All right, hit apply and okay. And okay again, there it is, white. Life is good, so we have that, the appearance of that is all white and we went there let's just take a look. Click on the door, edit type. So now what we did was is the panel material cherry. All I did was use the render appearance. The issue is going to be is now anywhere else that we use cherry is possibly going to have that. So we changed it. It's fine for here. It may be an issue later on. Really the best way of doing it would have been to duplicate that material keep it cherry and then paint it that way, but it works for now. All right, now we have the door. Let's put in some windows. I'm gonna go back to my ground floor plan. Let's go to windows. And let's see what we got here. So we have some fixed windows. We have 
double casement windows and we have double hung windows and some of these sizes I'm not real fond of so what we could do is same thing load family we can go now look for that US Imperial windows and I'm going to go into windows and I'm going to look for we have windows awning triple vertical window awning single I'm just going to do a, a normal uh, a casement window right here so these are going to open out this is going to open left it's fine uh, you can pick pretty much any window you want if you wanted a casement inside out or even um, something like this this awning single it's fine so we put that open now the size I want so sheds are relatively small I'm gonna go with a 17 inch window and I'm going to have it 24 inches tall click that okay there it is and I'm gonna place it in. notice it's a small window I want it to open out so this is three feet eight inches from the center line of that that's fine I'm gonna do a four feet and then I'm gonna place this other one and let's go you know let's do four feet there if you don't like these, you can change the dimensions there or from here, it's five foot six, it's fine. From the outside, I'm gonna stick with it. And so hit escape. Let's go to the 3D view. Okay, looks good. If we click it, let's go that back to that ground floor view. Let's see if we have it right. They're opening out. I click, the arrows are on the outside. We are good to go. It's a nice shed. All right, so now, well, many sheds like you put a tractor in there a garden tractor anything like that uh, we're gonna open a garage door but if i look at this from this view these windows are awfully low so i'm going to click on it i'm going to show you two ways to move the windows one i can hit the up arrow move it up and if you notice it changes my sill height so i can go until it looks good four feet looks good or i can click it click on the other window sill height four feet enter and it moves it up apply if you want there you go so they're four feet high i kind of like that i think that looks pretty good and so now i change the sill height the sill height let's just take a look at that to the bottom of the window that's where our sill is so it's from here ground floor level to there okay now let's go let's get a garage floor uh garage door ground floor I'm gonna to go to, let's see, walls, doors. Let's see, we know it's not there, so we're gonna to go to door. Load family. Let's take a look at doors. And we see here, I got two doors. Door overhead rolling. We have door overhead sectional. So these overhead rolling doors are like what you would see at storage units. I actually have one on my shed here. I'm gonna click on that, go open. Now when I go to place this, it is awfully big, so I need to come over here. I'm gonna do a six foot wide door, a height of six feet, because they're like that. Now I'm gonna place this centered like that. Notice six feet, six feet centered. That's the outside. I'm not sure really what that's changing. There we go. Looks good, looks good. Centered, six feet, six feet tall. Uh, you could probably squeeze seven foot tall. Okay, let's take that, I'm keeping that six foot. There we go. And there is our garage door. I think six foot's pretty appropriate for that. Um, let's see, can we change the height here? Try seven. There we go, I'll go with seven feet, let's do that. Seven feet, garage door. Uh, we could probably change the color of it too if we take a look at it. Let's go to edit type, steel, paint finish, ivory matte. So it's an ivory matte, so it's near white. If you wanna make it an actual white, let's go here, click on that. Steel, paint, ivory matte. So let's show you a different way to do this. What I'm gonna do is keep the material the same. So I'm gonna go to, create a duplicate of that. Create, uh, duplicate, select the material. So I'm gonna go change the name, steel painted white. So we have that, use render appearance, color, I'm gonna check, 
just uh, check this right here. Let's see, is it let me do it? No, appearance, sorry. All right, RGB. Let's go to the white. I'm gonna go to, and I'll give it a slight shade to that. Okay, apply. Okay, again, okay. And there you go, you see how it kind of brought it out a little bit, not much, just a little bit. Now we have the garage door in and I would save it at this point. So it looks like we got doors and windows. Now, if you wanna put in additional doors and uh, windows, you can, I wouldn't necessarily do another door, maybe a window on the other side, just depends uh, what you want, costs or customer preference. But at this point, we pretty much have a shed. So make sure you save it. Uh, we'll stop here for today and we'll continue on next time with some other fun stuff with the shed.